if you want to become like these great personalities and you have to hear about their activities about their life again and again okay yes I saw the Tell Mike. I saw a cartoons about this Lila mm -hmm. and I understood that Bali was kind demon, not evil. If he was a kind and like a devotee, why he conquered heavenly planets? What was the reason? Bali was a, a devotee of the Lord. But at the same time, he was the leader of the demons. So, like uh, we go on a job, like some, you might have seen people going on a job. So, from inside, they are Hare Krishna devotees, but from outside, when they go to job, they cannot tell that they are Hare Krishna devotees and not do anything. They have to do everything as per what their boss says. Mm -hmm. so similarly, Bali Maharaj also from internal he was a pure devotee of the Lord. But from outside he was a his job was to lead the demons. So and he wanted to do things which are favorable for the demons. So externally he was trying to favor the demons, but from internally he was a great devotee. And as soon as uh, Bali he gave the kingdom to Lord Vamandev, all the demigods in the sky, hmm, they, sta they started showering flowers on Bali and they said, even Indra, Indra, Charana and all the Apsaras and everybody started, started dancing and they, will, they were all glorifying Bali Maharaj. All were saying, Jai Bali! Jai Bali Maharaj! So they were all glorifying Bali Maharaj and they were all of showering their flowers on him. And they were all saying, nobody will be like you Bali, nobody will be like you. Any other questions? If Shukracharya knew that Ramanadev is Supreme Lord, why he made an obstacle to give everything to him? If Bali Maharaj loses his job, then who will feed Shukracharya? Because Shukracharya can't go on a job. He was a Brahmana. His job is to teach the disciples. But if he is teaching the disciple, the disciple is a beggar. The disciple has no money. And there is no money, then how will... That's why Shukracharya was giving an example that if you lose all your money, who will, who will take care of the family? So you should say no. Because 
first you are a family man you have your wife your children you are a whole as whole uh, assembly of uh, demons are there you have to take care of them so you should you should keep some money with you and you can give little to uh, this vaman dev <laughs> And if you have no money, then yes. you won't be able to perform Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. If you have tension of earning money, you, you won't be able to chant 16 rounds. So that has to be sorted. So don't give everything to this Vaman Dev. That means Shukracharya was not a pure devotee? No. Yes. Shukracharya was not a pure devotee. But he was he was aware of Lord's opulence about the Supreme Lord. <coughs> Any other questions? How can there be a situation that I am in Russia and there are no questions? Russians they have no so many questions normally. <coughs> Amazing. Maybe propose make a preposition that Sukracharya uh, has some envy to Bali Maharaj, envy some of his uh, qualities or something. And question according to us, if we have an envy in our heart, what we should do? <coughs> Shukracharya was not envious of Bali. Shukracharya hmm? Vamana Dev. No, no, no. He, he was just protecting his disciple, Bali, from giving up everything. Try to understand that Vamana Dev is coming on behalf of Indra. And Bali and Shukracharya's responsibility is to protect the demons. So now they, this is a contest between uh, Bali, uh, sorry, the demons and the demigods. Hmm? And <coughs> Bali, he wanted to, Bali and Shukracharya wanted to make sure that the demons have the kingdom of Indra with them. So, Bali, uh, Shukracharya was thinking that if, if he is the supreme lord who is equal to everyone but he is taking the side of the demigods, then I who know this super, he is the supreme lord, I should take the side of the demons. Он верховный Господь, он принимает сторону полубогов, а я не верховный Господь. Я хотя бы приму сторону демонов. So he was not envious of the Lord. Why? Because he was in uh, Shukracharya is one of the vibhutis, one of uh, one of the great personalities in Lord Lord's universal management. Он не завидует Господу. Lord Krishna says that among the demons I am Shukracharya. 
Some, something like that is said in the Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> so, <coughs> how to get rid of envy? If you have envy for someone, and if you are not able to uh, get rid of it, then we should ask, we should pray every day to Krishna to help us. And we should pray for the devotee also. For his for all auspiciousness. So if we pray for him and we pray for yourself also. Then the Supreme Lord will help you. Hmm? So every day we should pray till that uh, problem is sorted, we should pray sincerely to Krishna, please help me. That I can be non envious. We shall understand that whatever a devotee gets, uh, we should, whatever a person gets in his life, especially in the life of devotees, it is by the mercy of the Supreme Lord. In Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said the definition of dharma is given that seeing <coughs> the happiness of others, we should feel the happiness. And the seeing the unhappiness of others, we should also feel unhappiness. That is the definition of dharma given in Srimad Bhagavatam. Normally, it is opposite in, our, in uh, most of our cases. Mm. Seeing the unhappiness of others, we become very happy. Mm. So, we have to be very, very, very prayerful and uh, <coughs> to the Lord that please, that we should beg, for, uh, beg forgiveness and we should request the Lord to help us. And we should hear Bhagavatam. So that will also help. This Bhagavatam gives us power to, con to conquer lust, greed, anger, envy. Any other questions? Ah, the point is, ah, the same like Narasim Hadev, he just appeared and immediately started his activity. Is it the same that Ramanadev just appeared, took these gifts and immediately started to do this yes. performance? Or yes. he had some life before? No, no, no. He just came for that purpose. But he had life after that, after the he took everything from Bali, now he is serving Bali as a servant <laughs> in Sutal Loka. He is uh, Bali Maharaj is, is in Sutal Loka and so, uh, Lord Vamanadeva is guiding and protecting his kingdom. And Sutal Lok, Sut, Lord Vamana told him that Sutal Lok is more, more, more opulent than Indras. Once Ravana came, to meet Bali, 
to seek some help. So, but he had to cross Vamandev and go inside. But Vamandev did not allow him. Hmm. It was, he couldn't he couldn't cross. <coughs> Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much for the class. The point is, if Bali Maharaj a devotee, that means he has to have a spiritual master. And who is spiritual master? Shukracharya? Like real spiritual master. Prahlad Maharaj. Его настоящий учитель это Прахлад Махарадж. He, uh, for material matters, it was Shukracharya. But spiritual matters, it was Prahlad Maharaj himself. Yes, Prabhu. Индра вообще как? В восторге от этого? То есть он все равно учится свое положение. За вас, Рию, за Бали Махарадж, will be the next Индра. Yes, that will come tomorrow. And Indra Dev also knew about this. And what does he feel? He doesn't feel anything. Because he himself, he is in that position uh, and for a certain time only. Beyond that, uh, when the Manvantara changes, then the, all the ministers changes. If the Prime Minister changes, then all the ministers changes, right? То тогда меняются все полубоги. Когда уходит в отставку премьер-министра, министр, поменяется весь кабинет министров. Такая же система. When there is a new president of the country, then the new president does not take the previous ministers in his kingdom. The new ministers come. Когда новый президент страны, он же не оставляет старых министров. Он приводит с собой новых. So similarly, when there will next Manvantara. Такая же система. Следующий Manvantara. So somebody else, so Bali will be Indra and somebody else will be uh, the different demigods. Okay. The question, when it was, when this Lila taken part? Hmm? When this Lila taken part? In the uh, uh, seventh manvantara, I mean this 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 time, uh, seventh manvantara only. In this manvantara itself, this past times took place. In this manvantara. Yes. Ответ, что это было, это вот где написано и пакло там, это в эту манвантару нашу, в которой мы живем. Седьмой манвантара. That means that they are now in Sutala Loka? Yeah. Da. Where is Sutala Loka? <laughs> Just below where we are sitting. Ana sразу же под тем уровнем, на котором сидим мы. You have to go down few few hundred few hundred kilometers. Then you will find that. There are 14, 14 planets, 7 on top and 7 below. We are in the middle. 
Demons generally they they, uh, they control the lower planetary systems, and the demigods are generally the possessors of the upper planetary systems. Okay. Hmm. They are under the control of the demons generally. But they are also they are more opulent than the upper planetary systems. We we heard that Shukracharya represent Venus planet. Is it so? Mm -hmm. There is some connection. Да, yes. Any other questions? Where is now Pralad Maharaj? Pralad Maharaj. Pralad Maharaj is Pralad Maharaj. He is, he, where, where is, is he? Uh, now these great personalities, they are, they have two, they can have two bodies at one time. One in the Vaikuntha Loka and other for, uh, <coughs> for helping people like Bali Maharaj. Hmm? Yes, yes. Yeah. Where if Lord, uh, he is a worshipper of Lord. He is also worshipper of Lord Krishna. So, Bali is having association of Lord Vaman. They always so Prahlad Maharaj often visits him. Yes, you had some question. Uh, can I ask question not exactly with this topic? Can you tell about Vrindavan? <laughs> what Vrindavan? That's a seven days class. <laughs> <laughs> Vindavan <coughs> is a place where Lord Krishna and his uh, Kahoda boys hmm, the, they they went around all the different places in that land doing uh, <coughs> herding cows. Vrindavan is a place where Lord Krishna and his boys live and all that places where Lord Krishna and associates went. That place is called as Brajmandal. And each and every uh, dust, particle dust of that place has the uh, touch of Lord Krishna. It has been come in contact with Lord Krishna. So, the, this, this land of Vrindavan is glo so glorious. Yes, Mataji. The question is, if Indra, the king of the gods, why he has so many bad qualities, always something happened with him, how this they are, they are not, they are not pure devotees. Hmm? They are devotees, but they are self-centered. 
не чистые преданные, они преданные, но они как-то эгоистичны. Yeah. They are only thinking of uh, their devotees, they know Lord Vishnu and they know they worship Lord Vishnu. Они преданные, они знают о Господне Вишну. And even Lord Krishna, he comes for in he, for Indra, he takes so many incarnations. Indra ri vyakulam loke mada yanti yuge yuge. И просто ради Индры Господь Кришна пришел в столь многих воплощениях, как говорится в Бхагаватам, Индра ри вьякулам локам сих. But still Indra is a uh, Mishrit Bhakta, and he, he is only they only think about uh, uh, opulence and uh, how should I protect my opulence and how should I protect my kingdom? Но все-таки Индра он такой нечистый, преданный, как смешанный, и то есть он всегда думает о себе, как защитить царство, как увеличить богатство свое. Only when they are in only when they are in trouble, they will remember Krishna. И только когда он в беде, он помнит о Кришне. So they are the they are that that kind of type of devotees. Это вот такие преданные. Also, oh, she has a question. Lali. <coughs> <laughs> Ask Lali. She is. Lali, <laughs> Oh, yes, you remembered, right? Hmm? <laughs> okay, Mataji. Why you choose why you choose this story to tell us? Oh the management chose. I am traveling to various places in Russia and uh, giving seminars on different topics. So I allow the, the local management to choose the topic. She remembered. Why Bali Maharaj not follow his spiritual master in Supreme? Thank you for a wonderful question. Because his spiritual master told him to not to worship Krishna. So if someone tells you don't worship Krishna, then he should be rejected. Если кто-то говорит тебе не поклоняйся Кришне, mm. то его слушать не надо. To show this principle to the whole world, Bali Maharaj did that. Чтобы показать, продемонстрировать это правило всему миру, Bali Maharaj так сделал. Worshiping Krishna is a right of every living entity. Поклоняться Кришне это право каждого живого существа. It is a Jaiva Dharma. Это называется Jaiva Dharma. Eternal occupation of every living entity is to worship Lord Krishna. Вечное занятие или предназначение живого существа это поклоняться Кришне. And if somebody is an obstacle, если кто-то препятствие, even even though he might be on the level of a personality like Shukracharya, и даже если он находится на таком уровне как Шукрачарья, he should be rejected. Его нужно отвергнуть, отказаться от него. That is the principle. Таков принцип. Thank you. Спасибо. After that. Uh, is there a deity of Vamanadev in Vrindavan and where? If I remember, I will tell you. Yes, I will tell you. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Где находится вообще народ на мой? Не можно здесь не пообщаться. Where народ на мой лис? Лис, and can we meet him and associate with him? Yes, народ мой is always uh, roaming in the, all the three worlds, even in uh, all the in Vrindavan pastimes, in Dwarka pastimes, in all the look, all the lo locas in the spiritual world also uh, everywhere. His business is to help the conditioned living entity. Uh, become a devotee of Krishna. That is his job. So he always travels. He's a traveler. He travels 
all of the places he has access to the golok vrindavan he has access to all the vaikuntha lokas he, he, he has access to all the material worlds so he always goes and helps sincere soul connect to krishna our spiritual masters they are also they are, his his representatives because they are coming in the same line if you want to see him you should pray to him then he can manifest in front of you Hanuman is also there always so uh, Narad Muni is also there and Vedavyas is also eternal eternal so some personalities are there eternal Parashuram is eternal Parashuram is also there Parashuram также он присутствует Who else Еще есть вопросы Is there some cases, cases that somebody met Vedavyas in Himalayas? If some, if there are cases, why will they tell everybody? Why will they will not publish in the newspapers or they will draw? Or make a video on YouTube. I met with Vedavyas. <laughs> so this, these are uh, something very personal things. It is said that the bhajan should not be revealed. So the great personalities, they don't reveal all these things. Hmm. It, these things have to be realized. I heard, I heard that uh, Pilot Baba, hmm? that person, his name is Pilot Baba, hmm. he said that he met Ashwatthan. And Ashwatthan told that he regularly met Vedavyas. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Granthraja Srimada Bhagavatam ki Samaveta Gaura Bhakta Vrinda ki Jagat Guru Shila Prabhupada ki Bali Vaman Kathaki